Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ms. Fatma is speaking. Today we'll discuss chapter 12, which is about planning lessons. The objectives of these lectures um, or meetings are to help you realize the value of planning lessons, gain an awareness of the elements common to good lesson plans, and uh, create your own lesson plan, okay, or framework. Yeah, here, okay, so to help you accomplish these objectives, this meeting take you through a number of different activities. In first day, we will discuss what is a lesson plan, why plan, okay, just to discuss benefits of planning, what are the principles, okay, of planning, yeah, Problems are uh, problems as a result of not using lesson planning. And in the second day, we will discuss okay, documents the teacher needs to check before planning. Lesson plan. And in their day, Okay, we'll discuss what are lesson aims. Why is setting lesson aims important? Non-functional verbs. Plume taxonomy classification. Objectives for reading comprehension lessons. And the last point is about learning objectives for listening, speaking, and writing skills. Yes. Here, okay, if I ask you, what is a lesson plan? Yes, what is a lesson plan? Yes, uh, a lesson plan is a teacher's detailed description of an individual lesson. Okay, also a lesson plan is a framework for a lesson. So. If you imagine that a lesson is like a journey, then the lesson plan is the map. It shows where you start, where uh, you finish, and the route to take to get there. Yes. Why plan? Okay. Why do you plan? Here, okay, someone may say, I think it's important to have aims. Another one says, I never stick to plans or planning helps me teach more effectively. Someone says, I don't do detailed plans, but I make enough notes. Uh, sorry, uh, I make rough Notes. Uh, okay, someone says the textbook is my plan, and another says I don't have time to plan. So let's okay go to know and discuss the benefits of planning. Okay, advantages. Okay, of planning. Yes, here. Okay, what are benefits of planning? Yes, here we have some benefits or advantages of planning. Here, uh, lessons that are well planned are more likely to help students and teachers avoid unpleasant surprises, achieve their objectives, uh, allow the teacher to prepare for every step of uh, the teaching process in advance. I hear, okay, also save your class if for some reason you can't be there to teach. Uh, so the lesson plan will provide valuable guidance for the substitute 
teachers. Also here, um, K uh, lessons, K, uh, K are, that are well planned are likely to help students and teachers um, allow good reflective teachers to go back, analyze their own teaching and improve on it in the future, save your time in the future, provide a framework for organizing ideas, methodology and materials, help make the lesson coherent. Also, lesson, okay, planning lesson, okay, uh, increases teacher confidence, um, helps, okay, to identify any problems or difficulties which may arise during the lesson. Um, it, it helps to identify the kinds of, acti of, of activities and materials to include to achieve aims, okay, it is developmental, which means a, a learning document for teachers to reflect on after the lesson. So, okay, to some, okay, in some, although it, okay, although lesson, okay, here, okay, although planning lesson requires an investment of time and energy, lesson planning produced, uh, produces many valuable Benefits. Yes. What are, okay, what are the principles of the planning? Again, what are the principles of the planning? Yes, here we have some, some principles. Okay, aims and objectives. Here, okay, one of the main principles of a planning is establishing clear aims for your lesson. It is important that aims are realistic. If the subject is too difficult, then students can become frustrated and lose motivation. However, if the subject is too easy, the students may become poor. So it is important when important when planning to think about your particular class. Yes, here we have, okay, you may find it useful to peer these points in mind. What do the students know already? Okay, so if you are planning to introduce completely in new language items allow more time than if you are revising or extending a topic the class are already familiar with. What do the students need to know? Okay, um, of course, if the students are studying for an exam, for example, then you may need to focus on different skills and language than for a general English class. Um, here, okay, do your aims suit that need? What did you do with the students in their previous class? Yes, here, okay, um, balance, okay, of skills work with listening, reading, and writing practice and activities of, for speaking. And, okay, it's very necessary to ask yourself, how will do the class work together? Okay, how motivated are the students? Yes, here we have another principle, which is, okay, variety. Yes. Okay. Yes, here we have, okay, variety. 
Yes. Here, okay, um, the second principle here, okay, we okay is variety. Uh, as we have seen, uh, it is important to try and keep the students engaged and interested. Providing variety in a lesson is a way of achieving this interest. Okay, so repeating the same kinds of exercises can become demotivating for students. Where possible, it's a good idea to try to vary the kinds of activities, materials, and interactions. And here we have, okay, the third principle is flexibility. However, when you plan, you never actually know exactly what's going to happen in a class until it happens. So, exercises may take longer or shorter than expected. The students may be more or less interested in a topic than you imagined. Um, something unexpected may happen during the lesson. In these cases, if the teacher sticks to, uh, okay, uh, to his or her plan, the careful preparation may actually have a negative effect. Careful planning is very important, but teachers need to be able to adapt their plan during the lesson to suit the circumstances. Yes, here we have some problems as a result of not using lesson plan. Yes. Um, here are um, some problems that we notice. Um, yes, uh, if you don't plan your lesson properly, you may fall into several traps. Uh, your teaching may wander without achieving its objective, and you may never achieve the objectives of the course. Uh, you may come to teach and find that you didn't bring the necessary materials or equipment. What you teach may not relate to what you taught earlier and it may not lead to what you will teach later. Yes, uh, in some, uh, lack of the planning can lead to uh, okay, to the following uh, consequences, which are poor or reduced learning, frustration for both the teacher and the students, and a waste of time, effort, and money. Yes, here we have, uh, okay, a framework of a lesson plan. As you see here, okay, the content of this, okay, uh, framework, we have day and date, class, unit, okay, lesson, uh, page, behavioral objectives, pre-request, materials, <clears throat> here introduction, and maybe revision or warming up, and the objectives, okay, here, okay, for each objective, you, we have procedures, scales, organization, evaluation, notes, and at the end here we have homework and tutor's comments. So here, okay, we have some documents that the teacher needs to check before planning a lesson, uh, which are here the teacher's guide. Yes, the teacher's guide uh, K contains the distribution of the unit's activities into lessons. Uh, teacher's guide um, helps the teacher to present the activity. Uh, K, it is a source of key answers and listening text. Uh, so, um, K here, K, um, teacher's book, uh, K, uh, gives uh, more details and tells teachers about types of activities included in the textbook and the procedures to deal with them. Okay, also 
the teacher's guide makes summarizes of the suggested procedures in the introduction in the teacher's book. And we have, yes, the student's book. Yes, student's book. While checking the student's book, the teacher needs to make sure that if the student's book is based on the approach you prefer, is it visually alive and well presented? Does it have good pictures? Is the vocabulary useful and in current use? Is the structure grading? Are all the students having the book? Yes, and here we have the CD, okay, or flash, yes. Sorry, yes, the CD or flash, okay, helps in listening to native speakers. Other materials, okay, uh, is there, okay, a story book, uh, supplementary materials, dictionary or laptop video, etc. Okay, and the workbook. Okay, okay. The teacher becomes aware of the workbook activity distribution onto the different lessons of the unit. Okay, yeah. Inshallah, in the second part of this. Okay, uh, chapter, we will discuss the table of content, uh, the table of content, um, yes. Um, so the daily plan usually begins with the table of content uh, that includes learning objectives in new language, resources, pre-request, warming up, presentation, summative evaluation, homework, and rounding up. Thank you.